What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro in the Playoff Pack colorway. In what could be one of the final Nike Kobe releases ever, depending on the status of that contract, these Kobe 6 Pro Tros are set to drop on June 3rd for 180 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 225 Canadian. The official colorway for this shoe is white, neutral grey, del sole and black, and this is a Pro Tro version of the original drop that happened back in April of 2011. So Pro Tro, for those that don't know, is basically a retro with improved materials and technologies, which essentially turns a 10 year old basketball shoe into a shoe that works performance wise for today's day and age. So diving straight into the details, the upper of the shoe is constructed using a very fine white colored mesh. However, fused throughout the upper of the shoe, we have these gray colored overlays, which gives off the appearance of snakeskin. Painted on top on both the lateral and medial sides of the midfoot, we have this black colored Nike swoosh. And then moving down towards the back heel, we have this shiny white colored synthetic leather. And then overlaid on top of this, we have this black colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And then in the middle, we have Kobe Bryant's signature in this yellow color. For the laces, these only come with one pair of laces and they're a flat white colored lace. And then underneath this, you'll see that the bottom half of the tongue is constructed out of mesh. But if you take a real close look, you'll see underneath this, there's this additional layer of this honeycomb shaped foam, which gives you that added layer of padding so your foot doesn't feel any discomfort or pressure from the laces. The top of the tongue is constructed out of a shiny synthetic white leather, and fused on top we have a Kobe Bryant logo done in black. And you'll see how the tongue is also connected to the sides of the shoe, which gives the shoe a really locked down and sock like fit. So the back of the tongue and the inner liner of the shoe is colored in this Del Sol or deep yellow color. And then these come with these custom branded insoles which is lined in this yellow color on the top. And just like the original Kobe 6, these insoles are a little bit different than your standard Nike insoles. They almost have the feel of styrofoam and straight out of the box they feel very stiff, but they mold to your feet, giving you more of that one-to-one -one custom feel once you've really broken them in. So the upper of these Kobe 6s sits atop this full length foam midsole. And this foam is painted in this black color. We have this large zoom turbo unit underneath the forefoot, which is definitely one of my favorite cushioning setups. And unlike the OGs that had a zoom unit underneath the heel, for some reason for this Pro Tro version, they've taken that away. And I guess someone decided that having Kushlon is good enough and they can do away completely with that zoom unit. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of this Del Sol or deep yellow colored rubber on the forefoot and gray on the back heel. We have this almost snakeskin like traction pattern running throughout and we have this black Kobe Bryant logo on the back heel and right above the outsole, in the middle, you can see that visible carbon fiber shank plate, and this is to give you torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So for those wondering how these fit, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I opted to go a half size up for a 10 and a half. These definitely run more on the snug side. So personally for me, by going up the half size, it just gave my toes a little bit more room to breathe, and I didn't feel as much pressure clamping down on top of my toes in this toe box area. So I'd say whatever size you are in the Kobe 5, that's the same size you should get in this one as well. And again, if you've never worn a Kobe shoe before, I'd recommend going a half size up. Next up in terms of comfort. So overall, these are decently comfortable for a casual use. I'll admit though, straight out of the box, the zoom unit underneath the forefoot, it's a little bit stiff. So these definitely need to be broken in. And like I mentioned earlier, the insole also feels quite stiff out of the box. However, the back heel with this cushion, it feels very soft and plush, but eventually once this forefoot area is broken in, and once the entire insole is broken in, these will feel much better on foot and they'll really mold to the shape of your foot. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, overall, for the most part, this shoe is constructed out of synthetic materials, so there's not too much to say from a quality of material standpoint. However, the overall build on my pair was perfectly fine, I had zero complaints, and it seemed like a really well-built Nike basketball sneaker. With all that being said now, let's lace up these Kobe 6 Pro Tros and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, though I've never owned a pair of the original Playoff Pack Kobe 6s, just by comparing pictures, I think this is a pretty faithful recreation. 
And for me, I love the color combination of this white, black, and yellow. It just happens to be the school colors of my university as well. So for that reason, I've always been drawn to this colorway. So again, these are set to drop in North America in early June, but seeing how Kobe's are selling these days, I'd fully expect these to sell out instantly, but hopefully the resale prices on this colorway isn't going to be too, too bad. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro and this playoff pack colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway? And when these drop in June, are you guys going to be trying to grab these or are you going to be sitting this one out? If you guys enjoyed this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, Check me out on Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.